All right, so a year ago, I was at 240, 243 pounds, and now I'm at 253, 54 pounds. So what that means is that I'm a little heavier <laughs> a year later. So what I gotta do now is move forward with this weight loss journey. Um, it's October. October is kind of like my anniversary or my year of where I decided to start losing weight seriously via nutrition. And here I am two years later and I still haven't reached my goal. And I don't think it's because of lack of knowledge. I think it's because I got comfortable um, since the last year because I made so much distance. And now... Uh, the year has gone by another year has gone by that's why it's so important to get started on what you want to do and do the work so i'm not going to beat myself up about that um, but i do know i have to continue i have to continue this journey for me all the reasons are still there and um you know so that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing so i am working out i am doing push-ups i Definitely am not at 300 pounds. I remember when I first started, I was at 295 pounds. So it's not like I lost all my work. But I have lost a substantial amount of work. So now I have to continue. So how do I do that? Well, I have to hit my goals every day. I have to hit my nutrition, 1,500 calories a day, um, and do my workouts. And I can't do 1,500 calories a day Monday through Friday. I have to do that Saturday and Sunday too. Uh, and I have to write this goal down daily. Because I really have to keep my mind set on. I think it's a mental thing. And I want to get strong, too. I want some muscles. I want, I want to uh, make some changes. So I'm going to set a short-term goal. Um, maybe even do another... Ooh, fix the light a little bit. Maybe even do another 90-day journey starting today. It's October 1st, 2019. And my goal for October of 2019 is to reach 240 pounds. That is my goal. 240 pounds... By the end of October, I'm 253 now, so that's about 13 pounds. So we'll see if I can get there. My objective is to strive for it. So I'm going to work out. The main foundational thing is do nutrition. And then the secondary thing is um, working out, strength training and working out. Uh, I started this uh, app called, I got an Oculus Quest. So what I'm doing now is they got this game called Box VR. So I'm using that to do cardio. And I think I get about 200 something calories, um, uh, 30 minute sessions. So maybe that can get up to about 400 calories. Um, if I do like a 45 minute session, which I may start doing, but I'm still learning how to play the game or getting the, the speed up. Um, but I think that's going to add to the calorie deficit because that's what it's all about. Calorie deficit, calories in, calories out. So I'm going to use that as a tool to bring a calorie deficit every day it's very convenient it's fun it's engaging i'm going to stick with it um for the next 90 days uh that's a commitment and i'm going to continue working on my push-ups i got this push-up workout i'm following uh to get me up to 100 push-ups it's not it's not a, it's not a fast program it's a slow program so i'm doing that i'm actually struggling on week three so i'm starting week three over again uh, maybe i can do a, a updates on that on my push-up progress that would be a good Thing to do to document my progress to help me motivate myself because actually making videos like this was a great tool for me to motivate myself to continue losing weight doing it all on my own i don't have a trainer i don't have a gym membership um and i'm doing it on my own and i see that uh when i when i when i lax up when i get less days or when and, and another thing is when i see people not really that serious about this journey um you know, it kind of makes me feel less interested in my journey, but I have to be interested. I have to be solely interested, even if it's just me. So, um, there's some personal goals I like to have that I haven't reached, like relationships. Um, and that's because I haven't tried. Why well, haven't I tried? I think I haven't tried because internally I might have had some insecurities about myself that I'm actually just sorted out. And this has been a, a two year journey because I remember last year. Uh, having some epiphanies about relationship, about women, about dating. And, um, you know, 
and uh, I think that I shouldn't be afraid to really try anymore. Not not kind of dabble, but actually put in the effort for it. Um, but at the same time, not sacrifice my dreams and goals, which is what I'm trying to pursue first, and also to make sure that my finances are in order. So with that being said, I'm going to continue to move on and do this thing. All right. So I know I said a lot, but I got to document this journey. So I'm going to start documenting this. I'm going to start doing, I want to do Sunday morning vlogs. That's my weighing time. I'm making myself weigh there. <laughs> and the reason behind weighing myself Sunday mornings instead of Monday morning is because I think Saturdays are like the easiest day. Sunday is more controlled, but Saturdays are like the easiest days to just go all out and party and have fun, which I want to start doing. I want to go out and party. I want to go out and do something. I don't want to sit at home and play video games. I don't want to sit at home and make beats all the time. I want to live. I want to see people. I want to improve my social skills. I want to just be develop, develop myself more. There's so much more that I kind of shied away from and, and, and rationalize all kinds of excuses to stay out of when I could actually be embracing and enjoying it. So that's my intention. But yeah, I want to get those arms built up and uh, build myself. So yeah, I'm 10 pounds heavier this year from last year but my goal is to reach 240 pounds by the end of by the end of october don't go from there all right